Hello everybody. Now here's some proof that YouTube advertising actually works. Um, essentially uh, I was watching YouTube videos and Aaron Pins on my subscription list came up that um, he uh, bought three new Scream Factory releases. Um, and I was like, hey, you know what, I'm going to watch this and, and see what he got. I love the Scream Factory stuff and, and uh, Aaron uh, is quite uh, adamant about his purchases and and, and <laughs> why they're good and, and such so it, always a pleasure to watch um, and while I'm watching it he you know he picked these up from HMV and I see the price tag on on uh, the release and it was fifteen dollars and I was like fifteen dollar for a screen factory release you know what I'm gonna have to look into that because essentially, I think the only Scream Factor release I have right now is Life Force. Um, and they released another movie that is like one of my all-time fave. And that would be They Live, which I still have to get because I didn't get it this time. Um, it wasn't $15. It was 25 so whatever. Passed on that. Because um, you can only buy so many before, next thing you know, it's $100 and, and <laughs> out of your pocket type thing, right? Um, otherwise, yeah, I could have bought easily bought 100 friggin' movies today. But anyways, so proof that it works. Here's my HMV pickup. Um, oh, what did I get? What did I get here? Okay. Now these were the only $15 ones um, that they had. Um, one, and this is the one I commented on his video about, uh, the Vampire Lovers. Um, I don't, as far as I know, I've never seen this film. Doesn't mean that I haven't, but I don't own it on DVD. And generally when it comes to films like this, uh, unless I saw it, say, on a Saturday or Sunday afternoon on television or something like that, I because I didn't see it in theaters, they wanted to come out. does it even say? 1970. I wasn't born. So, yeah, when, when was I going to see it? On, on VHS? I don't, I'm pretty sure I never rented The Vampire Lovers. Or it would have been beta for me. We didn't really rent VHS. We had beta. Um... <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so I didn't have it on DVD, so in all likelihood, like I said, unless it was Saturday or Sunday morning, you know, our afternoon type thing movies, I probably have not seen The Vampire Lovers. The second pickup I grabbed was, now this one I have seen, was Dark Angel, but I don't own it on any other format. And, uh, yeah, this is, this is classic. I remember watching this, man. That whole, uh... I come in peace. Yeah, that that's pretty awesome, and I'm looking really looking forward to watching that. Finally, the next one, and the reason why you know getting in on them at fifteen dollars for some of you in the U.S. that you may be wondering fifteen dollars. Wow, that's 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 cheap. Yes, it is here because, like I said, the other ones were twenty five. Some of them were twenty, um, but generally they're 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 twenty five. Or more for the collector's editions, at least. But this one here, uh, he also uh, Aaron also picked it up. Cue the Winged Serpent. But you'll notice, regular price on it's twenty dollars. So I have this on DVD. I got the old, uh, the first Anchor Bay release. Um, and this one, I'm pretty sure I saw on a Sunday afternoon. Because. <laughs> um, yeah, I can almost guarantee I never saw this in any kind of theater, but it's one of those films that, they, you know, they Jason and the Argonauts, uh, followed by Q the Winged Serpent, it, don't, it, you know, and Highlander. Not unheard of. Um, so I picked those up. Now, I had... There was a bunch of other ones I wanted to pick up. I wanted 2000, or 2010, 2010. Um, I really want... I haven't watched that film in forever, and it was only $10, and I was... Gonna pick that up. Um, what else was there? A whole bunch of things. Uh, Dino Shark, the Roger Corman thing, was only $10. It was 
tempted to pick that one up, but I decided to get this film here. Um, I kind of remember hearing about the film. I don't believe I ever saw it, but it was the last copy. Um, they didn't have any, like, they had this in the special promo section. It was the last copy there. They didn't have any copies in the regular movie section where I picked up the, the Scream Factory releases. So, I decided to go with this one. And it's from the makers of the Blair Witch Project. And Lord of the Rings? I don't know. And the Lord of something, I guess. Lord of the Rings? Who is Anyways, can't read it, but for $10, I picked up Lovely Molly. So, uh, yeah, if you've seen Lovely Molly, let me know. Uh, post a comment down below. Um, not one that's uh, on too many people's radars, but hey, whatever. Now, apparently because I spent so much money, <laughs> I qualified to get... Um, they had some DVDs there that you could get for $5, or some CDs for $7.99. Go figure, that's what I, I... I don't understand how CDs and stuff can be more expensive than DVDs. Like, the DVD, the movies cost, you know, oh, I don't know, $30,000 minimum, and that would be the cheap ones. And then you get up into the regular $1 to $5 million ones, and those are kind of like your... Well, you get into your 100,000 ones, which might be some of your low-grade made-for-TV movies. Um, and it all depends on when it was made, you know. Uh, nowadays, your direct-to-video stuff would probably be... I mean, there's going to be some that are made on micro-budgets, but uh, if you're going to get a budget, you're probably looking at one to 200,000. Um, I'd say standard to make a regular movie, one to five million. Um, to make a big-budget picture, you're looking at... 10 to 30 million for the most part and to make a mega budget thing you're looking at 60 million up to whatever 200 million 300 million whereas to make an album hey I can sit in my basement and put out an album yeah so you 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 tell me I mean to put out an album could be you know if you're a solo artist you Maybe five musicians if, if you don't play all the instruments yourself. A so producer. Maybe two producers. Make a movie. That would be minimum. Minimum. Well, I mean, I guess you could do it with two people, really. But, I mean, that's not counting anybody you filmed on. It could just be you and another person in a room and a couple of cameras and let them roll. You can do it. That is possible. <laughs> it's very indie. But, yeah, generally we're talking hundreds. Well, you've seen the credits. You see all those people at the end? Yeah. That's the people who moved, worked on it. People got paid. So, still don't get that. But, anyways, I got a discount on a CD. And I decided to get the new Daft Punk album. So... It was funny, because when I walked in, I actually looked at that album, and I saw, oh, you know, if you spend more than this, you get it for this price. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll pick that up. I don't know. And then I totally forgot about it. And then I get up to the cashier, and she gives me this deal. And she's like, oh, yeah. She, you know, showed me the DVDs, which were Romeo and Juliet. and I don't know. They were DVDs. I ain't going to spend $5 on no damn DVDs unless it's some low-budget, no-name film. I'll spend five dollars on that, um, but yeah, big budget films. No, I'll just I'll just get the uh, Blu-ray. Thanks. Um, the CDs. I didn't know who two of the people were. And then there was uh, I think it was the guy who performed with uh, on the Grammys. I just saw. I don't know some rap artist. I think and it was a two CD set. And I was about to get that one. I was looking at it when she said, "Oh yeah, and the new Daft Punk album." I was like, "I'll grab the new Daft Punk album." <laughs> I actually be listening to Daft Punk in my car uh, on the way home, so hey, no brainer. And then, and then she roped me into, dang cashiers, eh? Roped me into, 
um, getting on the HMV points club thing. Apparently, it's three dollars to enroll. And I figured, okay, three dollars. She's like, yay, three dollars, and you get this thousand dollar or thousand points or something like that for signing up, and then you get or ten thousand points or something like that, and then you get so many points for whatever what your purchase is and then you, they're going to send you a, a survey to your email and then you get 10,000 points for that and I was like well how much do you need to like redeem for anything and I think she said it was like something like 20,000 to get three dollars off whatever maybe no maybe it was I don't know either way it worked out to the fact that essentially the card is free if you do everything get your points you get your three dollars back plus I made something like I don't know, 6,200 more points for the purchases this time. I don't do a lot of purchases in HMV, which is why I've never gotten the card before. I usually do a one, you know, one movie here, one movie there. But I figured, oh, you know what? With the sales they've got going on right now, sometimes they actually end up being the cheaper of all of them, you know, compared to Amazon and, and uh, eBay or, or whatever. Um, and seeing as how they are like essentially one of the last of the chain record stores out there, uh, Sunrise Records is still up, which I still buy there. I buy used stuff there um, generally because they do used. And um, I know the Sunrise near me, uh, the guy tends to get in a lot of obscure stuff. So I buy stuff from there, but their prices are usually way overpriced. And they have a members club thing that you buy into as well. But it's like, say the new, say, well, whatever, we'll pick Little Mermaid 3D, which is, I think, like $43 regularly. They'll have a uh, new price of, like, $47.99, club price of $45.99. It's like, but everybody else is selling it for $42.99. Mm. <laughs> whatever. It's a little weird, but, yeah, that's what I picked up. And I've been roped into this HMV club, so I will at least be going back so I can get some my money's worth. I figure maybe if I buy enough there, I if, on the card there. if I buy enough there, then I will uh, be able to turn it into something I wouldn't normally drop the money on. Because I was looking at the Power Rangers uh, box set, I think season four, five, six, and seven. They wanted ninety dollars for that, and there's always the Doctor Who's on Blu-ray. Those are pricey. Why has everything got to be so damn expensive? Don't they know I want stuff? Gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> Anyways, guys. That's it for this video. I could ramble on forever and talk to nobody because there's nobody here except for me and the camera. But that would just make me crazy. So, until the next video, you take care and have yourselves a good one.